let's continue with ml terminologies the next terminology that we will see is features we have come across this term a lot of times and we actually know what features are represent it is just a uh, input in your training or any data set that you have an input that will be helpful to predict some sort of an output y and that is feature now there are various different terms or alternate words to represent the same meaning a feature may also be called as variables predictors independent variables x variables covariates influences finally features all of these things basically represent same idea sometimes it is also called as feature spaces also that is also another term this is just so you know what each of these terms mean they are all equally common interchangeably used now just one other thing you need to know about the word independent variables is this is having one additional connotation to it independent variables is say you have a set of features in your data set you can call them as independent variables when let's imagine these to be the different columns present in your data set these are also called as features now you can call them as independent variables if these variables say this is column a b c d e f now these can be called as independent variables if a is not dependent on any of the other variables present here dependent means a cannot be represented as a linear combination or as a combination of the other variables present here the information contributed by a is independent on its own let's understand this with an example let's say the variable a represents the carpet area and variable b represents variable b represents the total area total area would involve carpet area plus some other common area and other other areas that are not covered under the carpet right so that is total area now you would see on on looking at the values of these variables you would see that both a and b are heavily dependent on each other if you increase the carpet area the total area also increases so they are very much dependent on each other so you cannot call these two variables as independent they are actually dependent on each other right it might be possible to represent a as a combination of not just total area but some other variables also multiple other variables also in that case also a is not independent for a to be independent you should not have this variable at all right instead of total area you might have another variable b which you can call as common area you can also have another variable c which is say the garden area something like that which are not part of carpet area so these are independent of each other a b and c these can be independent of each other and only if all these variables are independent of each other we generally represent or call them as independent variables now to admit it most people are not even aware of the meaning behind independent variables you will see that even though the variables are dependent on each other people mistakenly call these variables as independent variables and that's okay it's not a big mistake what you are representing generally what independent variables generally mean is it is just a feature in your data set but if you want to be technically more accurate you don't refer to them as independent variables you only call them independent when they are actually independent 